Hi everybody, welcome back to Donna's Dreamworks Paper Dreamer here uh, on YouTube. I'm uh, on my webcam and I haven't done this in a long time. It's actually a new computer, so I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be looking, but we'll figure this out as we go along. Um, just to let you know that I it did not leave the planet. I did leave the state. And I just got back from vacation and we had a nice time and we uh, spent some time in we drove actually and we drove from here in Florida to Maine from Maine to Massachusetts from Massachusetts to Ohio and then back here to Florida uh, 3800 and some odd miles and so um, we're glad to be back it's it's fun to see the relatives I saw my sister and both of our kids and both of my husband's sisters, so we've really kind of made the circuit. Um, I have been busy, but not really getting on to doing any major crafts um, since I got back, um, because as I mentioned once before, I believe my sisters had some health issues, and she and her husband have both now been in rehab, uh, and so it's been going back and forth to the facility and today she's coming home with one of her kids um, picking her up um, but the children live in North Carolina and Massachusetts and so I'm not sure how long I'll be able to to assist her anyway and anyhow onwards and upwards with our crafts um, I must tell you just before I left for vacation we went to a dinner and we have a dinner here in our community once a month called the rounders and as the word denotes it's those people who live here year round and it's a small percentage about uh, 25 percent of the total of people so although we have a, a few hundred that are here in the summertime with 1,112 homes in this community, we're really spread out, and some of us wouldn't see each other from one month to the next. So they do have a dinner. It, it actually runs all year, but in the summertime, it's especially pleasant because you actually get to see there's a lot of other people here that you didn't think or didn't you know realize or hadn't seen in a while. Um, but during these dinners, they celebrate birthdays and anniversaries of members for that particular month and just before we left on vacation uh, the month that we went had 42 birthdays and anniversaries now birthdays and anniversaries we tried to celebrate by giving a card to everybody ladies and gentlemen that was 42 cards so Guess who made 42 cards for birthdays and anniversaries? Um, I, it really took me about a day and a half to put them all together. I did a very simple card. I'm going to share them with you just to show you. It doesn't take a lot of time and complicated effort to make uh, a nice greeting card. I'm going to start with the um, anniversary card. And this is what it looks like. Let's see if I can get it straight here. Okay. And basically what that is, is three slips of a pretty decor uh, decorating paper. And I have two or three different colors that I used because I ran out of a particular kind. Those strips are cut at one and a quarter inches by three and a half inches. And then just spaced out on what we call an A2 size card for those of you who are not card makers. And that is um, four and a half, four and a quarter here, five and a half here. And so the easiest way I found to do it is I take my cardstock that I'm going to use for my base, and I take a card program, or you can Google, um, let's say Google anniversary sentiments. I happen to have a Hallmark card program that I find sentiments on for the most part, and I download the sentiment and include it on the inside of the card and this one says make every moment every memory something to celebrate and then I, I used the sending congrats your way stamp for the anniversary cards so that was very simple and you could make a lot of them up in a short period of time 
Now the birthday card is like this. And the birthday card, it, and it's generic. These are all generic, so it doesn't make any difference whether this person is male or female that's getting the card. It works for anybody. I, this this is purposely left to hang off the end of the card, but I just took it out of the envelope and it kind of got crumpled up a little bit. And this is simply, um, obviously, a balloon. And I did design this on my Cricut Design Space simply because I was adding this little blurb at the end of it. And actually, that simply is a triangle that I uh, sliced little pieces out of one side so it made it look like the bottom of a balloon. And then the balloon is just uh, cut so that it fits top and side. And then you see it coming down. And then some piece of twine and the simple message of happy birthday. And this one, the sentiment on the inside says this is your day enjoy so these were very simple cards to make it didn't take too long and like I said I, it took me about a, a day and a half and I don't mean eight hours one day and you know four hours another probably a total of five or six hours because I don't work at them constantly and um, it took me that long to make up the 42 cards and not everybody showed up at the meeting so I still have some left for the next time <laughs> that worked out well and of course I will then go and find a different simple project that I can make uh, for birthdays and anniversaries so that's one thing I was doing and I'll insert a picture right here uh, I had them laid out on my dining room table and you can see what they look like is the view from our motel. This is the Essex River. And way out there, that white area, is the back of Crane's Beach. So there. Um, now the other thing is that, that we did go to Massachusetts, Maine, Massachusetts, out Ohio on our trip and I thought I'd show you a couple of little pictures. I have a very short video that shows you the area around the motel that we were staying at which was in Essex, Massachusetts. And those of you who are not familiar with the Northeast, Essex is a small fishing community um, and is next door to Gloucester and I'm sure you've all heard of Gloucester fishermen and, and seafood uh, and it's very close to the town that I was born and raised in so and my son lives in in uh, the area close to Essex now so uh, um, I just want to insert this little video and one more thing that you'll see at the end of the video and this is a picture of a New England clam plate Oh my word, it is definitely not Weight Watcher friendly, uh, but then I haven't been Weight Watcher friendly for a while, but it is an unbelievably delicious concoction. Um, and, I, and you will see by the size that my husband and I got one plate and shared it because you couldn't possibly eat one of those all by yourself, even though you'd like to try. We actually had two of them while we were in uh, Massachusetts on two different occasions so we really got our clam fix and that was something that we were looking forward to um, sometimes when you move to a different area you acclimate yourself to the to the new cuisines and the cooking methods and so on and so forth but there are some things that can never really be replicated as far as I'm concerned and for me coming from Massachusetts it was New England clams and these are the full belly clams and the Chinese food. Why they can't make the Chinese food the same as they do in Massachusetts, I don't have a clue. Um, but 
it just isn't the same. And so um, those two things are the kind of foods that we went after when we were up there. Actually, I had somebody on Facebook when I was posting say to me, um, are you, aren't you doing anything besides eating when you're on vacation? And we did, excuse me, I have an itchy nose. Uh, we did, but um, obviously eating was a big part of it. We didn't spend too long in any, any particular area, so we enjoyed it. We really enjoyed our trip. So now I'm back and I have to get busy. I have a wreath that is on order for a 60th birth, no, wedding anniversary in September, so I need to get the supplies for that and get busy. And the other thing is I'm beginning to bring my fall things out. I brought my bins down and I've got a couple of little things that have been put out already and I'll insert a couple of pictures right here to show you. One is the wreath that is in my family room that I made last year and the other is the uh, candle ring or hurricane lantern ring that is on my coffee table in the living room. So here's a couple of pictures of those two things. And as you can see behind me on the bed there's another uh, fall wreath that I've taken out of the closet and will put up. I have several areas to work on. I need to work on my outside doorway entry. It's not elaborate like a lot of the folks have out there. I just have a small table with two chairs and I kind of put a something seasonal on the table with a sign. I think the sign for this one, if I remember right, I got it last year, is welcome to our patch and I have a lot of pumpkins out there. So um, that will, that's one thing that I'm going to be doing. And I'll, I'll do the, uh, I, uh, there is a lantern out there along with a little box that I usually put some kind of greenery or flowers and we'll work on that together. I also have my three-tiered uh, tray in the kitchen as well as my lantern centerpiece in the dining room table. Both of those need to be switched out for fall. And uh, also if you remember our cozy corner that we made, well I'm going to try to do one for fall. Um, and I'm going to uh, it, participate in Arlen's challenge. She has three challenges coming up for fall, the three Wednesdays in September. Uh, one is a cozy corner, one is the three-tiered uh, tray, and the third was the lantern. So those three things we need to get busy on. I've got an order into uh, Craft Outlet for some ribbon for the golf golfer wreath that I uh, got the materials for. The, the ribbons that I needed to to put in uh, that wreath were all out of stock and so I'm uh, trying to make sure I can get those in as soon as possible so we can get that done. So anyway that's where I've been and that's what I've been doing. Um, I did want to just check in because I didn't want you to think that I had decided not to do this any longer. Um, I have enjoyed uh, my vacation. It's time to get back on track in here in Florida our, our children are already back to school uh, I know for a lot of you your children will be going shortly uh, if they're not already back and I have really enjoy watching some of the um, family vlogs that are on YouTube and I, I get a big kick out of looking at where I used to be and so it's kind of fun to watch I'm not Although I'd watch a few of the big family vlogs, I didn't have a big family, I had two boys. Um, it's fun to see, my goodness, how, how organized you must have to be to handle all of those kiddos and, and uh, the meals and all of the lunch preps and all, it's kind of fun. So anyway, welcome back to my channel, to those of you, and there have been Oh well, gosh, a goodly amount who have subscribed while I wasn't even on. And so I just wanted to tell you all, uh, thank you so much. I love having you as a subscriber. And I'm hoping that we will get together frequently and enjoy some good crafting. 
And don't forget, I do other things besides wreaths, and so we'll probably be fitting in some Christmas cards coming up in a little while. This should be something for everybody's taste. I also am going to do a few cooking videos. I am a recent Instant Pot convert, and I absolutely love it. One of the things that I make in it uh, is Boston Baked Beans. It is fantastic to make Boston Baked Beans, uh, and so maybe we'll do that together someday. Uh, and so we'll do some videos on a lot of different things. Thanks for stopping by today. Thanks for hanging in when I was missing in action. And we'll see you shortly, probably within one or two days, and we'll start on one of the projects. So nice to talk to you, and we'll talk again later. Everybody have a great afternoon and play nice now. Bye-bye.